The sun is shining, the skies are blue. I'm gonna get burnt by the sun if I'm not careful. Dude. Oh, what is up everyone? Um, well, <clears throat> I made a couple of mistakes the last few days. I shot a lot of videos and when I watched them back, I realized that I shot them in slow motion. So they kind of like, didn't come to turn out to plan as such. So I did a little bit of a whoopsie there and I had some great content. I even, if you saw like my Instagram story, I even walked into a barbed wire fence and cut my shin, not too badly. <laughs> but I you know it is what it is, it's how we learn from our mistakes. And maybe I just wasn't supposed to film on that day. Maybe the universe didn't want me to make a video that day or maybe my phone's messed up and I didn't press slow motion and it just does it now. <laughs> so hopefully I don't make the same mistake on this video. Um, I'm checking the camera and realizing that it's all pretty good and merry. But the problem was I went to a really big acacia tree and like the acacia tree, I mean, has one of the most powerful forms of dimethyltryptamine. It's the tree of life, you know, the acacia. And even in like, the biblical stories of Moses and the burning bush, uh, people will believe that it was the acacia that Moses ingested. So he had the visions and received the messages, which is interesting. There's this book, I cannot remember the author's name, it's called The Immortality Key. Um, the dude who is the author of this book has been on the Joe Rogan podcast and a few other podcasts and he's got a really interesting way of looking at things. Um, let's go straight. Man, it's really dry down here. I've got a bump coming up with dogs in here. Work, 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 work. I mean, the trick with dogs and they want to eat you is you stop and you say, woof, woof, woof. Oh, no. <laughs> and they're normally harmless. They just want to bark and shout. Um, but I'm glad to catch it on camera because you shouldn't fear the dogs when they come running to you. You should always understand that they just have more bark then bite and if I go running like if I was in the small villages when I was in Peru uh, the dogs would chase me and I would stop and jump around and get on my all fours and chase them back and really confuse them and as you just see now like I didn't panic I didn't ride off on the bike I stopped and as soon as I stop and realize that I don't care like bark at me all you want <laughs> I'm coming through they back off and they're really really chill but it's just like I mean, some of these dogs, they come chasing you because sometimes they've seen their friends get hit by vehicles. Some people throw rocks at them. So again, like trying to be calm around animals always. I mean, if you're in a field full of cows, remain calm. If you're in a field uh, full of horses, remain calm, approach with respect. If you're in a place full of screaming dogs and you start to panic like, ah, oh my God, that dog's gonna eat me. Then obviously you're gonna cause yourself some problems. But as you saw there, I didn't cause myself any problems. Just right now, my bum really hurts because I've got a really bad bike seat and I'm driving down this rookety road with um, one hand, and one hand with the tripod, cheesy looking selfie stick, <laughs> trying to make this video, which I'm kind of hoping I didn't do it in slow motion. Oh my God, oh, oh, oh. ow. But yeah, normally this path is full of like deep puddles and today it's not. Yeah. So I'm a bit worried because we need more rain. Because if we have no rain, the ugh, rivers can't be full. And if we've got no rivers, we've got no agua. But it's interesting because other parts around the world are getting too much rain. So it's this weird law of life, you know, it's like uh, life can become very crazy sometimes. Um, but the law of nature was also very crazy as well. So, I mean, when we're in madness, we have to accept that sometimes things are out of our hand and our understanding. So it's like, I mean, people who've been isolating this whole lockdown and staying in their houses, I'm like, damn, like you guys have some serious patience. Um, and again, like the, whoa, <laughs> the mental side of things is also very, very brutal and hard, voila, and hard on people. Uh, like that's why like I do the things I do because I couldn't do it. I couldn't stay and I find it very hard to concentrate on anything. So it's well, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's 
So yeah, it's a crazy situation to find ourselves in, but yeah, I take my hat off to the people who are able to embark in this journey of uh, solitude and isolate. I mean, it's not easy. Um, some good things have come from this, some awful things. <sighs> but the dance, the life is kind of going in at the moment. It's a pretty brutal place to be in. So I mean, like people just please keep holding ourselves strong as much as we can. This hurdle in our life is part of history. It will be over soon. Um, I've approached this puddle and I'm going to show you uh, what kind of puddle I need to go through now. And maybe I'm going to try to go through this with one hand. And if I fall in, it's going to be hilarious. I have this nice puddle here. And if I go into this little bit here, I'm going to get covered in mud. Um, I'm going to go through this on the selfie angle. So if I do fall in, you guys are going to get a hilarious view of me falling in. I mean, I've done stupid things in my life and i think going through this puddle with two hands would be oh so much more um efficient and more safe and i would probably get through very very easy going through with one hand with a tripod is probably not so bright or smart um, but i mean in for a nickel in for a pound as they say fuck i made the mistake ah, it's okay i made it to the other side um, of his beautiful puddle. But now my shoe's covered in mud, my foot's slipping off the uh, whoa, the uh, pedal. Oh, my days. And I've got another one coming as well. And you think I'd learn from my mistake, but I can go on the outskirts of this. Um, here we go. Job done. Right. I'm gonna go to where the acacia tree is. I'm not gonna go into the field with the acacia tree because it's actually owned by someone. And they weren't very happy with me yesterday when I was um, in their field. I mean, there are other ac acacia trees around here, but I mean, this one was really, really cool in me. And I felt a connection to this, ow, my bum, a uh, connection to this tree. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys there in a minute. I'm gonna teleport myself there. So see I don't you. know how clear you can see on the camera, but this tree here is the acacia. Now, there is actually an acacia tree down here as well. Um, but, well, somewhere down here. But with this one, it was just like cooling me. And I, I felt like a strong connection to this one. So I decided to uh, jump this fence. I mean, there was a guy going up and down in a 4x4. Four four, and he was not pleased with me jumping the fence. And I, I get that. I mean, but this whole place is beautiful and it's fenced up and to go and explore i mean obviously it's his private land and i need to learn how to not jump fences when i see something which is very mystical and magical because if i was him um i would be a little bit cheesed off as well that this gringo has just jumped the fence to go and pay a visit to my trees but um i mean some of you watching these vlogs uh my vlogs are i mean i could be going through the streets and showing you all the food and all the things you can eat for cheap prices which i i, I will when the right time um at the moment i'm kind of boring i'm not really doing anything too exciting i've got a few little things i'm working on and um yeah just working on these few little things to try and get them to manifest themselves into something else um, I believe this is also the um, acacia tree here as well. Uh, yeah, so you can see by the, um, oh yeah, the energy, the bark of the tree. So in the world of like uh, plant medicine, we have different plants we go into diet with. And I was told that this tree here is very similar tree, very similar, very similar energy to the oak tree. And like I've worked with the medicine of the oak tree in the world of ayahuasca. And yeah, it's been, one of the most profound things I've ever done in my life. Um, very, very life-changing, uh, really. It helped me to overcome many things in my life and to let go of many things, but opened up many doors for me to work on other stuff, which then goes on the crazy, uh, like the rabbit hole of life. And you start to uh, question many things about yourself. So, <laughs> I mean, what can you do with it? It is. It is what it is when you open up these doors and go into the world of plant medicines. You have this idea of drinking these medicines and suddenly you're gonna get all the answers. It's like, 
oh, I want to get rich. How do I get financially stable? I'm going to drink ayahuasca and ask the medicine. And you realize that that question seems so irrelevant when you're in that space and you're seeing like the secrets of the universe and you're just like, yeah, maybe I don't want to ask that question, you know? <laughs> and everyone has different experiences. But yeah, like trees have this really amazing like place in my heart. And okay, in the world of uh, ayahuasca, when we go into the diets, we um, diet different plants and trees and almost anything. And we really take on the energy of that plant or that tree for the time we're in that diet as such. And we um, have these profound connections, which are just so, so beautiful. Um, yeah, I just checked that uh, I'm not filming in slow motion. So that's also, also good. And then check out, my new pedals now i've got some metal pedals because in the other vlog if you watched my pedal broke and i also got a new arm for the bike as well a little bit more stronger the gearbox is about to go on this on this thing i'm trying to find some more bike paths to go on as well i've been given some insight that there's a interesting one a few towns over in a direction where i haven't explored so much so i will check that out at one point um yeah, I'm bit by something. <sighs> Ouch. Yep, mosquitoes are coming out again, which is always fun. <laughs> um, so, yep, I'm going to carry on on just a little bit of a journey. Um, I mean, this vlog probably isn't going to be that exciting today. <laughs> but I will get a little bit more excitement soon. It's just I've been trying to work on so many other things at the moment. It's like taking up a lot of space in my, in my head. Um, but at the same time, like, follow me on this journey because things will get a bit spicy and more exciting uh, in the up and coming weeks. Uh, I'm going to have many interesting stories to share uh, from these retreats, which we're now going into very, very soon. Uh, I don't even know what the date is today, the 20 something of March. And then the first retreat, I believe, is the um, 10th of April. But before the retreats start, I'm going to be having, we're going to be having a couple of private ceremonies. Um, so I'll be interested to vlog. I'm going to do like a series of going back into the world of ayahuasca. Uh, so it comes at a great time. I'm very grateful for being invited to be a part and to help work in, this, uh, in, these, in these retreats any way I can possibly. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. And again, more stories of that land of the beyond um yeah so i'm excited i'm excited to uh to step back and just to you know enter that space once more and just to i think you know we've all had a really really hard time in life um lately and now it's just a time for me just to take a deep breath and understand like the universe wanted me to come back to ecuador um, opened up this opportunity for me to go work back with the medicine so I mean everything is what it is is it just a coincidence or is it that something interesting and another shift and transformation is going to happen so I'm, I'm excited either way and I realised that I've been rambling on a lot and um, there's quite a lot of minutes have gone into this uh, video so I'm going to make this uh, the end of this little vlog it was just a quick um, update to talk about the acacia tree and a few up and coming things. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for stay tuned for some more exciting stuff, which will be coming up very soon. Uh, yeah, so everyone have a, an amazing day uh, wherever you are in the world. Stay cool, stay safe, stay amazing, and stay magical. Ciao.